Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ryan Ponce. This is another set of macro tutorials wherein you would learn how to move pictures or images in Excel. Now, I've made a sample here. So, we have a group of people here that are together. And if I want them to observe social distancing, I would turn this on. There you go. And if I want to, to turn it off, I'll click this button. Turn it on again. So they move as if it's an animation. Now I want them to stay at home. I'm just going to click on this one. And there you go. All right, so I'm going to show you the most basic way of moving the pictures or images in Excel, like moving them up or down, left or right, and making some rotations. We'll use another sheet, which is this one. I have renamed it as test. We'll use a fresh new module and create a new macro. Okay, so so let's add a sample shape like this one. And uh, once you add the shape or picture you can rename it the shorter name the better um, the way how you could rename it is to click or activate the picture and you go to your to your upper left currently the name is rectangle 5 but you can name it as um, sample just for demonstration and once you go to your Visual Basic Editor, you can go ahead and make the macro code. So we're moving this image from the worksheet name test. And the name of the shape that we want to move is sample. And we want to move it. Um, going up, let's say top 15, run the macro, there you go, let's say it's top 30, run the macro, goes down. So for the meantime, I'm gonna disable this macro code by adding this. Once I go to a different row, it turns green. It means that this is no longer a code, this is just part of the notes of your macro code. And once you run the macro, this line will not work. Okay, so let's try moving it from left to right or right to left. Similar code, just changing the top into left so if it's left 30 so it goes to the left part of each cell let's say it's left 300 there you go so it's almost in the middle let's say it's 400 run the macro there you go we could also change the height using the similar code just by changing the left into height let's say it's a height 40 
There you go. Let's say it's so 50, run the macro. There you go. So we could control the uh, location from top to bottom, location from left to right. We could control the height. We could also control the width. There you go. Now, what about rotation? We'll change this into rotation code. Now, let me show you the current angle of this um, picture. So, I'm going to activate it, right click, go to the size and properties. The current rotation angle is zero. Now, if I want to change the rotation using this code, it should change. Let's try it. There you go. So, turn 50 degrees. So, if you want this to be back to normal, you can set it to zero. And the code. There you go. All right. The first sample I've shown you, like this one, it includes some calculations and some looping techniques wherein I would not be able to discuss as of the moment. But as we progress with the macro tutorials, I'm going to teach you how to loop and how to calculate so you would know where to exactly land those images on the way how you would like it to be designed so that's it thanks for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my youtube channel for more macro tutorials